वेलकम टू डे फाइव ऑफ टेस्टनेट जीके फॉर एनी वन अपियरिंग फॉर टेस्टनेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एग्जामिनेशन इफ यू हैव लाइक्ड आर वीडियोज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल पाथ फाइंडर फॉर मी फॉर मोर एंड मोर वीडियोज विच आर सिमिलर इन नेचर एज आई टोल्ड यू इन द लास्ट सेशन दैट देर इज सम रीवर्क ऑन द डेट्स ऑफ रिलीज ऑफ द सेशन सो दीज आर द फाइनल रिलीज डेट्स so today 16 february we are going to release one session on national news this is the session on national news the next session on 18th 20th and 21st february will be released and the topics are again national news polity and on public demand we have introduced art and culture also in these sessions uh, i sincerely hope that these sessions help you in achieving your objectives let us get started with the first question mass migration of blue earth forms is a phenomenon observed in which of the following states the correct answer here is meghalaya so in meghalaya uh, blue earth forms measuring up to 1.6 feet they migrate in the area of east khasi hills east khasi hills of meghalaya the they migrate uphill and downhill the uphill migration starts in the month of april and may and the downhill migration it occurs in the period of september to october blue earthworms are also known as composting worms blues or indian blues uh, this species is known for its ability to create worm castings very quickly so mass migration of blue earth worms in the state of meghalaya next question the exercise indra is conducted between which two countries the correct answer here is between india and russia so these exercises began in the year 2003 in the year 2021 the exercise was held in volgograd in russia and this exercise will also conduct practice on counter terror operations under the united nations some of the other popular military exercises which india conducts garud shakti garud shakti this is with indonesia mitra shakti mitra shakti with sri lanka surya karan with nepal kurukshetra with singapore nomadic elephant with mongolia yuddha abhyas with usa and hand in hand with china these are some of the other bilateral military exercises conducted by india next question in which city is india's first wa underwater metro project set to be launched the correct answer here is kolkata so the east west project of kolkata metro rail corporation is expected to be completed by march 2022 and one segment of this is going to be underwater under the holy hugli river in calcutta so this metro will cover 16.6 km route with six stations on the way and the terminal stations are salt lake and havra meda around 9 lakh people are expected to travel on this route daily uh, next question <laughs> the union government has approved fdi under automatic route in the defense sector up to what percent is the foreign direct investment approved the correct answer is up to 74% now india's defense sector especially manufacturing was earlier limited to only public companies so private companies could not participate in the sector so this changed in 2001 when the sector was opened up and 100% private but domestic participation was allowed and 
only 26% FDI could be accepted at that point of time. Today, India has raised uh, the FDI limit to 100% and under the automatic route, the limit is 74%. So, you must know that India depends on imports for more than 70% of its defense requirements. And we spend around 3% of our GDP on the defense. And around 90% of our imports of defense or related to defense, they come from Israel, Russia, France and USA. Next question. Which union ministry has implemented the SMILE scheme? The correct answer is Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Now, what is this SMILE scheme for? It is to support marginalized individuals for livelihood and enterprise. So, there are two sub-schemes under this. The first sub-scheme is, uh, there is a scheme for comprehensive rehabilitation for welfare of transgender persons. And there is another scheme for rehabilitation of beggars so the smile scheme which is implemented by ministry of social justice and empowerment next question lusung festival is a new year celebration of the bhutia tribe in which state is this festival celebrated the correct answer is sikkim so lusung is a Sikkimese New Year festival and carnival uh, which celebrates the end of annual harvest. So again, it's another harvest festival of India. <coughs> when is it celebrated? It is celebrated at the conclusion of the 10th month of Tibetan lunar calendar. So this festival is primarily celebrated by Bhutia and the Lepcha tribe. It is also known as Sonam Lusung, Sonam Lusung by the Bhutia community and Namsung, it is known as Namsung by the Lepcha community. At this juncture, you should also know about some other harvest festivals in India, Makar Sankranti, Baisakhi which is celebrated in Punjab and Haryana. Then we have Lohri which is celebrated in Punjab, Basant Panchami in West Bengal and Bihar, Bhogali Bihu in Assam. Then you have Vangala in Meghalaya and Assam, Gudi Padwa in Maharashtra, Nabanna in West Bengal, Onam in Kerala, Pongal in Tamil Nadu, Ugadi in Andhra and Karnataka. Vishu in Kerala and Karnataka and Agera in Mumbai. So these are some of the other harvest festivals which you should be aware of. Next, according to the census, Indian census 2011, which union territory was the most literate? The correct answer here is Lakshadweep. So, Lakshadweep had 91.85% literacy rate and hence is the highest uh, literacy rate among union territories. As far as the states is concerned, you would be aware that Kerala has the highest total literacy rate and female literacy rate. Kerala, I think, has around 95% literacy rate. Next question. Who is the author of the book titled The Sage with Two Horns? The correct answer is Sudha Murthy. So Sudha Murthy has written this book. And what is this book about? This book is about uh, lesser known stories from the Indian mythology. So it is the fifth and last book of our unusual tales from mythology series featuring kings, queens, gods, goddesses, sages and extraordinary men and women of wisdom. Next, 
which indian bank has launched the first video live certificate series services for pensioners the correct answer is state bank of india so you would be aware that pensioners have to give a proof of life and they have to submit certificates ev every uh, you know periodically so now sbi has launched video life certificate service which will allow pensioners to submit their life certificates through a simple video call and they can make this call from the comfort of their homes sometimes pensioners find it difficult to travel all the way to bank they might be residing in different cities and therefore this scheme has enormous significance and advantage for pensioners next recently global drug policy index was released by harm reduction foundation it ranked 30 countries on the drug policy index what was india's rank on this index so india's rank on this index was 18 out of 30 countries so it's a data driven global analysis of drug policies and their implementation so harm reduction consortium is a global consortium of networks which aims to challenge the global war on drugs uh, the index is a unique tool that documents measures and compares national level drug policies it provides each country with the score and the ranking shows how much their drug policies that is the country's drug policies and their implementation is aligned with un principles so basically the score represents how much the national policies of countries are aligned with the un principles of human rights health and development india scores was 46 on 100 and the rank was 18th next question the unesco's creative cities network uccn was created in 2004 to promote cooperation among cities that have identified creativity as a strategic factor for sustainable urban development recently an indian city was chosen to join the uccn recently is the last year 2021 which is the city the correct answer is srinagar so uccn at this juncture including srinagar has 246 cities in its network and what is common objective of these cities they place creativity and cultural industries at the heart of their developmental plans after mumbai chennai hyderabad varanasi and jaipur srinagar is the sixth indian city see the other cities are mumbai chennai hyderabad varanasi and jaipur srinagar is the sixth city to have got this distinction and srinagar has been designated the creativity city in the field of crafts and it is the second city jaipur being the first city to be designated in this category uh, this recognition will help srinagar in international funding and tie up with craft universities the uccn network covers seven creative fields craft folk art film design gastronomy literature and music are the other categories next who is the winner of 2021 f1 qatar grand prix the correct answer is lewis hamilton so the qatar grand prix is a formula one motor racing event and it was held for the first time in 2021 in the month of november uh, the circuit length of this race is 5.380 and the total race length is 306.66 kilometers and hamilton represents mercedes next question icc recently appointed a new permanent ceo who has been appointed as a new permanent ceo the correct answer is geoff allardyce 
he is a former australian cricketer and administrator and he was basically made the acting ceo in the month of march 2021 and later on it was converted into a permanent ceo position next question magdalena anderson is the newly elected first woman prime minister of which country the correct answer is sweden she is a swedish politician and economist she joined the swedish social youth league in 1983 she also has a masters degree in economics from stockholm school of economics she has served as an advisor and director of planning in some renowned companies next question who is the author of the recently released book cooking to save your life the correct answer is the nobel laureate dr abhijit banerjee so he won the nobel prize for economics in 2019 and he got the nobel prize for his work on experimental approach to alleviating global poverty so he is an indian origin professor at the massachusetts institute of technology and he has also been awarded the 2019 swarigs riks bank prize in economic service next question hurun india and adel give have jointly released the adel give hurun india philanthropy list 2021 azim prem ji the founder of wipro topped the list for a second year in row who was ranked second so azim prem ji has topped the list for the second year in a row the person who was ranked second on the list was shivanatha he is the managing director of uh, hcl corporation owner of hcl corporation in fact the first four people in the list or are azim prem ji shivanatha mukesh ambani and kumar mangalam birla and the research also highlighted that there were 11 people in india who made an annual donation of 100 crore or above next question strive skill strengthening for industrial value enhancement is a world bank funded project approved in 2016 the total cost of the project is 2200 crore which ministry is implementing it the correct answer obviously is ministry of skill development so this project aims to create awareness through industry clusters to address issues pertaining to micro small and medium enterprises the strive program was launched in mangaluru next question who has been appointed as the md and ceo of punjab national bank the correct answer is atul kumar goel he has replaced mallikarjun rao next question who has been named as the petas india's persons of the year 2021 the correct answer is alia bhat peta stands for people for ethical treatment of animals and alia bhat has been named as peta india's person of the year 2021 to celebrate her work in support of animal friendly fashion industry and her advocacy for dogs and cats in need next question the vjd method is associated with which of the following games the correct answer is cricket the vjd method or the v jayadevan system is used in lieu of duckworth lewis system or duckworth lewis method for calculating target scores in interrupted one day or t20 cricket matches so the correct answer here is cricket with this we come to an end of this session of tisnet gk if you like these sessions please do remember to subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me thank you very much